Hi, this is Erin Romanski with the Romanski Group. Today, let's talk about a seller's market versus a buyer's market. While inventory might not be top of mind when you're buying or selling a home, it's important to understand what's happening in our local real estate market. This knowledge will help you understand the strategy to get the best price, whether you're buying or selling. A seller's market exists when people who want to sell their homes have more negotiation power than prospective buyers. In a seller's market, there are fewer homes for sale than there are buyers. Much of the, the United States is experiencing a seller's market today because there is a nationwide housing shortage. As a result, the median price for a pre-owned home recently hit an all-time high. Currently, we have 150 residential properties for sale in the Lafayette Board of Realtors and an absorption rate of 1.8 months of inventory. Absorption rate is a term to use in real estate to describe the speed homes are sold in a specific market in a specific time frame. It's determined by dividing the number of homes sold by the number of available homes within a time frame. A high absorption rate means that there is a high demand for homes and that homes don't stay on the market for long. As a general rule, five to six months of inventory is considered to be a normal or balanced market over six months of inventory, and we have a buyer's market. Less than five months of inventory, and we have a seller's market. The smaller the available inventory, the tighter the market is. Keep in mind that these are simply guidelines and will differ from market to market. If you have any questions about buying, selling, building, or investing in the greater Lafayette area, please contact me at the information below. Again, this is Erin Romanski. Thanks for watching.